And in order to avoid that, those very high numbers, we have to do at least several things. One, we have to uh, depend on what the president's going to do right now. And first of all, he has to uh, tell, uh, uh, wait till the cases before anything happens. Look, the whole idea is he's got to get in place things that were shortages of. Another day, another baffling, confusing, and troubling interview by Joe Biden. Look, it seems like he's trying to talk about the current health crisis, what Trump is doing and isn't doing, and how he would maybe do things better. But you can't really be for sure because Joe Biden is that incoherent here. His words are being slurred. He's stopping and starting constantly. And he's getting confused when he tries to transition between reading his notes and actually delivering his message. It was an abject failure of answering a crucially important question in a way that gives the public clarity and confidence. Joe Biden failed in that regard. And you might say, well, it's just one 22 second clip. And you're right, except for the fact that this is part of a much broader trend and pattern we've seen from Joe Biden over the past few weeks and more, where he's demonstrated clear unavoidable cognitive decline, dementia, whatever you want to call it. But Joe Biden isn't all the way where he needs to be for the task of running for president and especially for serving as president for four or eight years or what have you. He just isn't there. And you see it whenever he goes on camera, especially but not exclusively in these sorts of unscripted interviews. We've covered multiple of these examples over the past few weeks where Biden just doesn't seem to know where he is, doesn't always know what office he's running for, doesn't always have a clear answer, even the questions that anyone should reasonably have an answer to if they're running for president. He's just not up to the task. And yet we keep seeing him trotted out in front of the camera as little as is possible to look like he's doing something, but never more than we need to see because there's a fear that the longer Joe's on camera, the greater the potential is for a serious gaffe. And this is why, until just a few days ago, Joe Biden was hiding away for six days until his quote-unquote lighting was figured out in his home studio. But the whole point was, Joe was hiding for as long as he possibly could because it gives him the greatest chance of defeating Bernie Sanders in the primary because he doesn't want to take any risks right now. And he only came back because there was immense pressure from the media and from regular voters asking, where is Joe Biden? You know, there was hashtag, where is Joe? Joe is missing. Where is Joe Biden? These things were all over social media. And Joe, I think, felt he was forced to come back, even though it would be gaff fest after gaff fest after gaff fest. And here we have a man that at this crucial moment where, again, America is aching for effective leadership, he is unable to provide it because he can't answer a question clearly. And even when he is clear, even when his speech is isn't exhibiting cognitive decline or dementia or what have you. He's lying and he's unable to admit that his own plans have failed. Also today on MSNBC, there was another clip. I won't play it because it, you know, Joe Biden said these things before, but he was basically asked again, isn't single payer the type of system needed right now to address the crisis being faced by hospitals and the healthcare system more generally? And Biden said, no, what we need is a plan to restore structure of the healthcare system that helps hospitals meet their needs and helps patients meet their needs. And Joe, that's single payer. That's what it'll do. It'll restructure the healthcare system to actually meet the needs of patients and of people who deliver care and not the profit motives of the financial institutions and the insurance companies and the shareholders of those companies. That's the point. So Joe Biden is saying, we don't need single payer. We just need something that only single payer can do. And my own plans will never, ever do. But we don't need single payer. So when he's not confused, when he's not out of it, he's lying. Maybe he does both at the same time sometimes, but you most often see lucid Joe lying and confused Joe being confused Joe. This is something that more and more mainline Democrats 
are starting to worry about. And I'm not making that up because you're seeing more and more anti-Bernie forces within the media and the Democratic Party who clearly back Joe solely as the anti-Bernie focal point now saying that, hey, you know who looks really good? Andrew Cuomo, the current New York governor. I don't think he's done a great job, but this video isn't about that. The point is lots of people, more and more people every day, every week are saying, maybe we can draft Cuomo to be the Democratic nominee. And again, we have no idea concretely about how that would work. Would Biden be forced out? Would he have to be asked to drop out? How would the delegates work? Would the super delegates come in on the second ballot? What if Biden drops out? Do the voters not accept Cuomo and they move to Bernie, giving Bernie the victory? The details aren't important, really, at this stage, at least. What matters is the person that everyone was already crowning as the nominee is somebody they're trying to force out for a man that has exactly zero delegates and zero votes in this presidential primary process because they want to stop Bernie. That's always been goal number one, but they realize that Joe Biden is a looming disaster for this 2020 general election in November. They know that with Biden, they will lose to Donald Trump or that loss is at least very likely. I don't care what the polls say right now because they wouldn't be making this argument to replace him with Cuomo if they weren't afraid of Biden losing. They wouldn't. They wouldn't be doing that. Again, goal one was stopping Bernie. Distant goal two was beating Donald Trump. If they were comfortable with Biden defeating Trump and he's already supposedly defeated Bernie Sanders, then they wouldn't be talking up Andrew Cuomo. But all of these interviews, Joe Biden going missing during the biggest crisis in modern American history is really, really demonstrating to people that their anti-Bernie backstop will not work in the general election. And so folks have to ask themselves, why are we doing this? Why is this happening? Why are we going with a man that when he's all there is lying and isn't there most of the rest of the time when the primary is not over yet? Look at this graph. Look at this graph, guys. It clearly demonstrates that while, yes, Biden has a lead, there's still a ton of delegates left. There's still a lot of room to play. There's still a lot of game left. And yes, I understand the way proportional allocation works means that Bernie has to start winning some of these states by big margins. I'm under no illusion that it will be easy. But to say that it's over, to say that voters can't now realize that Biden's lack of preparedness, his cognitive decline, his dementia, and his lying isn't disqualifying. Not to say anything, guys, of the Tara Reid incident that we've covered on this channel is absurd. Of course they can make that change. There's still plenty of time. So guys, I'm not bringing up these Joe Biden gaffes, these Joe Biden embarrassing incidents for comic relief or to make fun of Joe Biden. That's not my intent. As I've noted on this channel for months, when people have asked me about Joe Biden and his cognitive decline, even before it became the focal point, I was always approaching it from a point of view that it made me sort of sad to see Joe Biden do this to himself, to see others potentially do this to Joe Biden. And I felt more of a kind of pity and sympathy than anything else. I'm not doing this to make fun of him, but the people deserve and need to know that Joe Biden is not up to the task and that Joe Biden in those moments where he is, is being disingenuous to the American people about the solutions they need for this crisis. And you don't have to ask me and you don't have to ask other Bernie Sanders supporters because more and more people that have been backing Biden are looking for an off ramp to Andrew Cuomo or somebody else. And that tells you everything you need to know. Joe Biden is setting a course towards defeat in November and Bernie Sanders is the only way to prevent that from happening.